Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the Black Box by 1010 Music. In this video I will discuss multi-samples. If you have a number of samples of a single instrument at various pitches, like a synth or a piano, you can map these samples together to reduce the amount of pitch shifting required to play a broad range of notes. Put the files you want to use for one multi-sample pad into a single directory by themselves. There are several folders of samples like this in the Simple Sound folder included with the 1.3 firmware update. You can download this folder of WAV files from our forum at 1010music.com. Because a multi-sample pad uses multiple samples, it is not possible to set start, length, loop start, or loop end points for these pads. Therefore, it doesn't make sense to enable looping for these pads either. As a result, the position and miscellaneous tabs of the parameter page are not used for multi-sample pads. However, all of the main, ADSR, and MIDI parameters are supported for multi-sample pads. To load one of these sample banks into a pad, first, on an empty pad, press info once to bring up the recording and load screen. Touch load in the top menu bar. If needed, scroll through the list of sounds and find the simple sound directory. When looking at the list of files, list items that start with a slash are directories. Load a directory to see its contents. The file path is displayed above the list of files. Touch the caret to back out to the previous directory, and touch load to drill down into a directory. A good example of a directory to use with multi-samples is the house piano. You can audition any file within that directory by first loading that directory, If I were to touch load on this pad, I would load just this one selected house piano sample. Instead, from this directory view, you want to touch file and then load all. Blackbox will now load all of the files in the current directory into this pad and map the files to notes across the keyboard based on the root notes defined in the WAV files. Now use the keys screen or an external MIDI controller to play notes for that pad and the black box will play the sample with the root note that is the closest to the note played and pitch shift as needed to achieve the best tone. So if I switch to keys, Press keys again, I have my grid. Or from an external controller like this Launchpad X. Okay, I'm gonna press pads to go back out to the main screen. I press info once and tap load. I'm going to use the caret button to come out of that directory, go down and find the mini fifth. Touch file, load all. And now from the launch pad. You can also use multi-sampling to map multiple waves across the keyboard. This can be useful if you have a folder full of drum sounds, for instance, that you want to trigger with a keyboard. Load a folder where the files do not have root note mappings. It will load the files in alphabetical order. Map the first file to note C2, and then each subsequent file to the next semitone above that. So let's take a look at that. Go one more pad over, touch info. Load, use the carrot to come out a couple directories. Have this file that we all have, a directory called <laughs> drums. And instead of pressing load to load only the baby sound, I'll touch file, load all. The black box places the first wave file alphabetically on C2, which is represented right there. So it's pretty easy to map things across a keyboard, whether you have root notes set or you don't, it just depends on your need.
you can use Blackbox to assign root note parameters. Open the files as individual samples on the black box and edit the root note on the miscellaneous tab of the parameter screen. Save the WAV file with the root note information. After you have done this for all of the files in the folder, use File Load All to load them all into a pad and you will hear that the notes are mapped accordingly. I'm going to press Info and Load. In this screen I have a directory full of synth sounds. I need to set the root note parameter for this first one, so I'll load it as an individual sample. Press the info button and navigate to the miscellaneous screen and you'll notice that root note says none. So to match those other ones, I need this one to say C2. Okay, if I hit save from the preset screen from here, I'm only saving that change at the preset level. To save that change to the WAV file, I'm going to press Info and navigate back to the Waveform Overview. Touch the name of the file that's currently loaded, and then touch File and Save. Blackbox will ask if you want to overwrite that file. Tap OK. Takes just a few seconds, and now we have successfully saved that root note so that any time that we use this particular sample or these samples in another kit, another preset, we won't have to do this again. Okay, and if we did all of that right, Now I'm going to go to a fresh cell, navigate to the directory full of the synth sounds, and these are C and G spread across two octaves. Go to File and Load All. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos from 1010 Music.